Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, the Dawn Guard series. We're back with High Queen Patameth Bold. I am the Gold of Oblivion, and last time, last time, we were fighting a war for the Reach that, for all intents and purposes, we have actually won Skyrim Civil War to increase the council power. So it is, it is kind of a, kind of a silly, <laughs> it's a silly civil war. They wanted an increase in council power, but... Uh, High Queen Patema is not gonna have it. She's not gonna have it. She, uh, I guess you could say carefully arranged the Civil War as a means of rooting out her political enemies in the province of Skyrim and has now wholehanded, wholeheartedly destroyed the Rebellion. However, we can't end the war because right now the Rebellion itself has been invaded by foreign powers. So what we need to do is we need to go through and we need to retake all of the land that these foreign powers have taken. And once we do that, then we can have peace. It's it's strange, believe me, I don't know why, but it is, it's, it's the rules of the game. So that's what we're going to do. And essentially that means we need to retake Rorikstead, Grey March, and White Run, because they've all been conquered by the Yaldum of Grey March, right here. So we need to we need to destroy them. And then up here, we've got Corvin Jund, Fellhammer, Sarthal, and Galarok that have been occupied by the Yaldum of Anselvoon. So we'll have to remove them as well. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take the Royal Army here, and we're going to march our way from Rorikstead through the Tundra. Oh, wow, it actually doesn't look like it just looks like snow. It's just all snow. March them through the snow to Whiterun, take it back, go up to Corvin June, and wrap up all this. Then we're going to have to take this little army down here, and we're going to go to Dragonstar, because it has been occupied by Thane Argusteer of Raven Springs. We're going to have to deal with them. Whew. So while they're all doing that, and they're marching out to the different objectives, we're going to deal with this stuff up here. Special holding actions. We don't need to do that. We don't need to press claims. Ruler unmarried. Queen Patema is much too old to bear children. Um, my lady, I write to you with shocking news. Drakian Buckinghouse tried to have me assassinated to make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kidnap Theodorian. I don't... Expose him immediately, okay? Titles can be created. Titles are expensive to create, so we're not going to do that. What is this? Invite plot. To the magnificent High Queen Patema. Hello, friend! Uh, apparently we're friends. Are we friends? Hmm. We would like you to back our plot to kill Drakian Buckinghouse. Sure! Why, <laughs> why not? Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Do we have any more factions going on? Nope. Uh, do we have plots? Ooh, Siege of Orotheim. Has created the Great Temple of Snowhawk. There are lots of plots. Kidnap Princess Grasta. You would dare. You would dare. Throw her in the dungeons. She will be dealt with swiftly. Do we have any more sac people we can sacrifice? No? Let's sacrifice Bari, the Thane of Dunstad. <laughs> um, Orathheim. Orathheim, Orathheim, Orathheim. All right, let's... Re let's begin the liberation. After years of careful planning, Dagny, somebody is going to do something with an army. Um, let's go here and destroy this force here. They're kind of bothering me. All right. Is there anybody else we can arrest? Let's see. Kill Sinmir. We can actually arrest all these people. Kidnap Princess Grasta. Holger the Shadow. You would dare. Let him flee. Why are all these people trying to kidnap my heir? This is ridiculous. So she can't be... Let's let's refresh that. Kidnap Princess Grasta. We can't imprison her because she's not a part of our realm. And the plot, which she won't agree to because we have no control over her. Uh, we tried to arrest him, but that didn't really work. Prepare to steal an artifact. Can't imprison her. Can we imprison you? Let's go ahead and do that. So that's one more sacrifice for us. Who else is trying to prepare to steal an artifact from Prince Sten the Bulwark? Kidnap Prince Grusta. Seder, we're going to throw you in the dungeon. Excellent. So Princess Grusta, our daughter and heir, is actually kind of acting like a magnet for, <laughs> for sacrifices. I like it. Fabricate a claim. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go here and sacrifice these people again. 170. Excellent. So what you get for attempting to kill the Princess of the Throne of Solitude. The Throne of Skyrim. They would be so bold. Oh, apparently Dragonstar is no longer being held. 
Let's see, Hags End, you are still at war with, let's see, Ansel Vund, Gul'dan, 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 and uh, let's see, Grey March. All right, well, we got our work cut out for us. We need a new advisor, so let's get somebody awesome. Let's get Grasta, the daughter. What else is she doing? Maybe we can make her do something cool. Request council support, open spell book. Maybe I can cast a good spell on her. Grant a title. Um, maybe we should grant her solitude. No, 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 let's not do that. Let's not do that. Let's give her master of blades. Oh, you know what? She already really likes us. We don't, we don't really need to do that. Let's find a new master of blade that can actually be used. Kajeld, court tutor, will be you. At Sir Besh, House Carl will be someone I trust. It'll be Isa. Excellent. Now... Oh, right. I was going to cast a spell on my daughter. I was going to protect her. What can we cast on her? Ward character. Protect this character from malicious spells. Fortify health. Fortify fertility. Hmm. You know, she's 24. Maybe we could fortify her fertility. Use restoration magic to temporarily increase your target's fertility. I will cast a lesser, lesser version of the spell. Excellent. So now we have given her fortified fertility. That's, that's really cool. I like that. There's a man I need to arrest. Another I want to assassinate. My spymaster Trier could either help with the arrest or the assassination, but not both. We'll, we'll do the arrest. We don't do much plotting, but we certainly do need people to... Or we need to be able to arrest people. Um, Rorikstead is now ours. Let's march to Grey March. And then this army is going to march on this force here. We cannot let the enemy regain their forces. How do you still have men? 2,000. How do you have 2,000? A daughter was born to James C.Z. Bloodmouth and Makala Joran's daughter named Freer. Well, she's not going to be named Freer. Oh, wow, she's a hair lip? What the heck? What the heck? Molag Bal. Bal will, will heal her. We'll pick the faith focus, because then she can be great with magic, and we need a new subscriber. So we'll be right back. And I am back, and unfortunately we don't have any good candidates for a female character, so it's going to have to go by default to someone... Else. Someone else, congratulations, Togrul Savalin. I know you're probably not a female, but unfortunately, that is the role you have to play. Embrace it, sir. Embrace it. So we've got Togrul Savalin, James' daughter of House Bloodmouth. That's an insane name. <laughs> That's a long-ass name. I kind of like it. Um, can we do anything else? Let's close the spell book. We don't really need that to be open anymore. All right. Battle of West March Tribe, great. Uh, I was gonna say something else, and I I just forgot. So we're gonna roll. Oh right. Well, unfortunately, I was I, I was actually supposed to get Marokadi Gaming into 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 this as a character somewhere, but unfortunately, Marokadi like I did I, it didn't seem like a very appropriate name for the, a future potential princess. So it's uh well, can't really can't really use you use you there sir oh wow they got an army of nine uh, an army of 1000 here that might be that won't be a problem that won't be a problem we can handle them um let's march here to raven hall and destroy them and then let's go ahead and siege this not siege it assault it we're gonna assault it excellent so let's see that's been retaken that's been retaken march to white run and take it for take it for the crown we'll take it for the crown and speaking of the crown we actually need to upgrade what am I doing? I want to build something. Let's build Dry Moat Small Hut. Oh, that's expensive. But we need to build it. We need to build it. Because right now, uh, High Queen Patema is literally living in a shack. So we're going to upgrade that shack to a small hall. Excellent. And then that will slowly allow us to be, uh, you know, get, get better stuff. Get better stuff. Okay. Apparently, title loss on succession. Don't care about that, actually. All right, and we're destroying these fools here. We can take this. Do we want to take this? I don't think we want to take this. Let's march on these fools here. I know you only have... Oh, no, you don't have 50 morale. Skyrim Army is doing great. They're doing fantastic. All right, assault that. Assault that. Okay, peasants are pissed off. Defensive pact. Opposing Batema has been disbanded. Excellent. The conquest will continue. Once this war is over. All right. That's been retaken. That's been retaken. That's been retaken. They're killing them here. Now we need to retake all of this. What is this? Held by... 
Dandem of Gulden. All right. You will march to Corvinjund. Cannot offer peace yet. None of Nana Kane's holdings are occupied by Jarl Lisa. None of the Nana Kane's holdings are occupied by Thane Thadgir. That is one criticism I have for the mod, is it's got these arbitrary rules that are like this. You don't have this problem with with the other mods that I play for CK2, but this is an issue. I don't know if this, if this is in vanilla CK2 either, but this is kind of a problem. And maybe not a problem, but it is annoying. It makes, it makes your wars last forever because... You're fighting the enemies of your enemies, and if you're not fighting them, then you're fighting the enemies of your enemies of your enemies, and it just it seems like wars will just go on for goddamn forever. Ugh. And plus, with these super low garrisons, even 50 men is enough to change the course of a war. I mean, you just you just raised, you just got 200 men. What the hell? Jesus. Ugh. All right. I guess I'm going to keep this army here to kind of keep the Reach forces in check while the main army marches over here and retakes the east. High Queen Patema the Bold has inherited Jarldom of Nilheim and other titles from Jarl of Vignar. Patema received a beautiful new mud crab, a new West Reach Habai, superior mithril armor. All right, I like that. Superior steel sword. I like that. Excellent. We got a bunch of stuff here. Um,. Oh, shit. West Reach Habai. A loyal, tough breed that originates in the western reaches of Skyrim, although the horse is actually a descendant of the Bretonian... Bretonian? Oh, Breton, right. Bretonian stock. Bred originally for labor hauling ore trains from the mountainous regions to the coastal and the lands of High Rock. Since its genesis, however, the, the West Reach Habai has proven itself to be easily trained, obedient steed with a great steel in the face of battle, and is a favored riding animal of nobles across High Rock and beyond. It does provide a lot of bonuses. Mudcrab. A mudcrab in an ordinarily ter territorial crustacean has somehow become a companion pet. It is slow and none too bright. Its pincers are sharp, though. Right. It actually provides personal combat skill and defense. I I, I think we're going to get rid of these. Because we really don't need them. Superior steel sword. A fine steel sword. Simple and unelegant, but effective. This particular sword seems well-crafted. So, uh, well, that's nothing compared to the Dwarven Sword. Let's see, Martial plus three, Personal Combat plus two. Yeah, the Dwarven Sword is better. Superior Bosmeri Armor. Uh, superior Mithril Armor. A uh, suit of rare Masterwork Mithril Armor. Mithril is unusually lightweight and comfortable, but still affords its wearers excellent protection. Well, yeah, we're, de we're definitely going to equip that. Right. Um, we're not going to equip this. And I don't see the point of having a fucking mud crab. All right, so we got some stuff we can offer to Molag Bal. Um, offer an artifact. Offer the steel sword. That'll give us 200 Ardor. Excellent. Um, let's offer the superior Buzzmary armor. Or should we give that to our children? Princess Grasta already has superior Buzzmary armor. Maybe we should have given her the sword. No, she's a magic user. She doesn't, she doesn't need it. And then we could give the armor to somebody else? Uh, no. We need the Ardor. Excellent. And then we need to clean up this inventory. Mud Crab, we will get 15 Ardor. Um, is that, I mean, is it really worth getting rid of it? If it's only going to give us 15, Morale Defense plus 1%, Defense plus 1.5%, Martial plus 1. All right, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Um, the West Reach Habai offers a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Ah, hell no. Hell no. We're going to keep those pets. All right, we've got 2,000. We are on our way to 2,500. What were we going to get if we did 2,500? I mean, if High Queen Potema the Bold can hold out till, uh... I mean, if she can hold out for another 2,000 our door, maybe... Tama can become the vampire queen. Molag Ball is the progenitor of pure-blooded vampirism, the condition from which the lesser strains of vampirism ultimately originate and can grant you pure-blooded vampirism if you are deemed worthy. Pure-blooded vampires, in addition to the immortality, heightened combat abilities, and disease immuni immunity common to all vampires, receive a small but permanent attribute bone boost and do not need blood meals. Yeah, but blood meals are, you know, the blood meals are all a part of the fun, though. You know, they're all a part of the fun. You gotta have your blood meals. Right. Anyways, so I mean, 
Maybe she can do it. She probably won't, but uh, if she does, then uh, High Queen Patema will be the new uh, Immortal Queen of Skyrim. All right, we got to keep these Reachmen in check. Skyrim Army. I believe this is the Army of the Fighters Guild. Fighters Guild, right? Maybe? Yes. Uh, I don't know, actually. 60 Battle Mages. Nothing compared to 300 Battle Mages. We learned from our early war with Elder's Blood that... Uh, well, you know, that uh, having battle mages is really, really important. Is there any other armies here? This army here is kind of concerning. So let's march back to Ravenhall and take out this army of Jarl Ulfric II of Greymarch. King Lifer the Drunkard. King Lifer, you need to keep your vassals in check. Young Madigan has finished her education in the ways of intrigue. It seems she's learned all the basics. Ah, oh, you've come of age, have you? You know what that means. Ooh, we can ransom people. 46 gold, I'll take it. I will take it. We have two people. We have Melkua. Could we, um, we can torture her. I don't think I want to do that. We can ransom her. No, we can't. Can we offer her as a sacrifice? No, but we can offer Madigan. Do it. Why can't we, um, is she only 15? No, she's, tw she's 39. Um, no, we, we can't sacrifice her for some reason. Let's see. Tindigan was offered up in sacrifice by High Queen Potema. Was burnt at the stake at the order of Chief Bedenach of Harmogstul. Okay, Harmogstal. Whatever. Is from any country. No one will object. Well, I want to I wanna sacrifice her. I don't want to... Maybe she can't be sacrificed because she doesn't offer anything. Maybe. All right. All right, uh, three, two, one, and another assault. Beautiful. We have retaken Felhema. We will take everything. Oh my god, they're down here too? They're like ants. They're like ants. Maybe. Oh, they're reinforcing too? Great. Maybe we can take these forces and sacrifice them. They're going to eat up our treasury. No, we can't actually siege them. You, you would, this, if I can kill this guy and make his war end, that would be beautiful. It'd be a beautiful thing, because they're just running away from us now. They're just running away to, to, to prolong the war. Oh, that's frustrating. That's annoying. Gonna have to do this all ourselves. And they're gonna come back around here. Oh, Please, you guys got to remove this ability, this 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 thing where your revolts can have wars declared upon them, and then I have to go and destroy all of them too. Ugh. Nope, didn't get anything for that. Need to go down here, and destroy them, and destroy them. Jesus, this is never gonna end. It'll be an eternal rebellion, rebellion because, just because, because I said so. Okay, because I said so. There's Shah. What is this? Invite to plot to kill Drakian Bucking House. I already agreed to that. And then they're going to run away because that's what the AI does. Uh. Now, let me guess. I can't offer peace because you control my territory. No, apparently they can control our territory and it's okay. But if their territory is being controlled by somebody else, a third party, then we can't declare peace. We can't offer peace. Ugh. I think uh, a Game of Thrones gets around this problem by essentially making it so that your uh, the Cass's belly that these third parties have on uh, the Skyrim Revolt just kind of goes away. Hearthspire. Okay. Go ahead and march back up to Orithheim. And then we will invade Gallo Rock. Excellent. Take Morven Scar. Uh, they're cold, golden, 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 golden. What is this? Oh, it's Anselvund too. Goldan and Anselvund. I hate them. I hate them with a passion. They're three, two, one. Invade. It's costing me men. I'll go to Kynesgrove. Catch that army that's down there. Um, no. Attack them here. Attack them here. They'll run out of men eventually. <laughs> they will run out of men. Shah, you go there. What happened to um my army of... Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, no. 
Crush them here. Do it. Emperor Palpatine, do it. All right, so once they're gone... Hmm. Jarl Logvar the Lionheart has declared Palin Conquest of White Watch on King Lifer the Drunkard. That war better not involve me. If that war gets in the way of my conquests, I will sacrifice you all. Let's see. Nope, can't do anything else. We've gained a better understanding of war. Great. All right, get all this out of my face. So you're going to Anselvund. We don't care about that. We're going to... Ooh. The Skyrim Revolt. The Skyrim Revolt's only real thing that's got me worried is just how it how easily it can destroy the treasury just because it goes on forever. It goes on forever. Alright, ambush them at Anselvund, and then we'll go down to Snowgrad and uh <sighs> Iverstead. Alright. I think it's time to bring this army around Helgen and come from the south. Combat is the best teacher. All right, if you say so. Now go here. All right, go here. You guys go down here. Capture this army. So now let me see if I want to declare peace. Can be occupied by Thane Thadgir. Kingdom of Gul'dan, and that is Thane Thadgir. <sighs> and I can see more armies from Anselvund up here for some fucking reason. I think they're part of the same... Yeah, Anselvund. God damn it. I don't care if uh, if, if the Rebellion retakes territory. It's, it's these third parties that I goddamn hate. Okay, this is how we're going to stop them. March this army up through here to Corvin June and take out this offensive they're launching. I really can't help but feel like Ansel Vund is actually working alongside the Rebellion by invading them in some weird way. Some weird way. We will have Grunda. Grunda. Um, let's see. Improve diplomatic relations or so dissent. Hmm... Let's see, our demean is okay, so we can actually keep solitude. Um, let me see. Religion religions, religions, religions. Coldstone belongs to my sister. She's not too fond of us. So maybe we should send my niece to Coldstone to make my sister like me more. That might be worthwhile. Possibly. Maybe. Alright, it'll probably be more uh, beneficial to wipe this army out first and then retake all this. And then you guys can go... Alright, they're already on the way. They're already on the way. Uh, I guess the lesson from this episode is don't let rebellions happen to you because they're not as easy to win as you'd think they are. Not because you can't beat your enemy, but because your enemy's enemies are going to make it harder. King Lifer has accepted King Logvar Lionheart's peace offer. Okay. Crush this force here. Auto save right before. All right, no problem. We're unstoppable because we've got battle mages. A lot of them. All right. Now you yeah you need to pursue this force. Don't let them settle. Oh god, there's they have another 500 men. Where are they getting these soldiers from? Are they conjuring them? I wouldn't be surprised if they're conjuring them. All right, retake it. Retake it all. Snow ground. All right, it's almost over. It's almost over. Ugh, all we have to do is, is liberate this, and we can enforce peace. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. It took forever. <sighs> Anselvund. Anselvund, I will destroy you. All right. Peace has finally fucking arrived. No, no, no. Did I... Did I, um... This isn't... I didn't, uh... I hope I didn't disband my retinue. Did I disband my retinue? Okay, no. Thank... Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I almost disbanded my retinues, but thankfully the game is smarter than that, and it didn't... It didn't allow me to, to do that, so that's great. 
No, we're actually going to forbid command. The retinues will return to solitude where they will replenish. Speaking of my retinues... Ah, we can't make any more. That's okay. 200 battle mages and 330 light infantry are both pretty damn good. Increased council power. Are you kidding me? We just got done. We just, you fucking ask me to join this plot one more time. I will have you killed. Do you understand me, Malkorin? I will have you killed. Do not ask me again to join your stupid plot. These Nords, I tell you. I tell you. All right. So now that we have the threat levels gone, look at that big old blue. That's big old blue. Look at that blue right there. Um, oh my god, we have a lot of prisoners. All right, and we got people that we need to sacrifice. Mass sacrifices for... Oh, yes. The time has come. It is co It is time to... to Not that Molog Ball deserves it, but the time has come to... Well, punish our enemies. So, High Chief Mogan. High Chief Mogan, you pretended to be a friend of the crown only to join the enemy. I will gladly sacrifice you to my Daedric Lord. All right, make an offering. No, not that. I want to sacrifice more. Donic, High Chief of Karthspire. We will sacrifice him. We will sacrifice the Jarl of Morvenskar. We will sacrifice Balgruf, Jarl of Ironbind. You're gone, sir. Sacrifice Nenekane. We will sacrifice Andralheim. Good riddance. We will sacrifice Hadric. And you can see we are very, very, very close to requesting pure-blooded vampirism. We're less than 200 away. What could we offer? Surely we could give him something. We could give him our Amulet of Articulation, which I'm considering doing. All right. I didn't think twice about it. I just did it. And now, I believe, will be the time that we have all been waiting for. That long civil war that High Queen Patema strategically orchestrated for this very purpose. To root out her enemies and to sacrifice them in mass to Molog Ball. And at last, she has the ability to request pure-blooded vampirism. If Molag Ball gives this to Queen Patema, she will be immortal and she will be she will live forever as the lunatic queen, warlord of solitude and Skyrim as a whole. Well, without further ado, let's let's ask. Let's ask and and, and see if Molag Ball deems High Queen Patema the bold of Skyrim worthy. The ritual is successful, and the Prince of Domination addressed me. I can't do Molag Ball's voice. I really wish I could. So, mortal, you seek my gift. You wish to gain but a fraction of my power. You are weak and pathetic and worthless, but I sense that you are most capable of, of, of inflicting pain and suffering on others, and so I deem you worthy to receive but a sample of what true power is. I am ready. Very well, Molagbal responded, and so you become the purest, most despicable insult to death and to life. A burst of energy coursed through my veins, and my blood boiled from within. I realized that I now possessed terrible, incredible powers. I am a pure-blooded vampire. Bam! Where is it? Let me see it. Zoom in on the capital here. And so in the halls of Volkihar Castle... High Queen Potema achieves vampirism. A vampire is a pre-natural being commonly believed to be a reanimated corpse which consumes the blood of sleeping persons at night, thralls, and other victims. The, vi the, vi the vampires of Tamriel are undead, diseased persons who are hated, hunted, and misunderstood by the living. Whether they consider themselves cursed or blessed, or whether they have given into their animalistic instincts, or have sought to rid the world of the, of the disease, vampires are nonetheless considered abominations. Fertility, minus 25%. Personal combat skill, plus 2. So, High Queen Potema the Bold has achieved... What her mother sought out and struggled to do. She has become a vampire. Unfortunately, she's stuck looking like this. Um, 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll edit it. Out. Maybe I'll edit it to where she go reverts back to her younger self or something. Or maybe, or maybe, do you guys think she should, she should stay looking old? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, uh, High Queen Patama should look as the new uh, vampire vampire queen of Skyrim. But now, now, is there any other traits that I get? Do I get just vampire? Hmm. I guess those little uh, little bonuses are what I get for being a being a pure blood vampire. Do I get uh, create the Nordic Empire? Hmm. Hunt for a blood meal. Ooh. Restore your vampirism to stage one. What would that do? We'll have to find out in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, the Dawn Guard. I have been the Golden Joblivian. And until next time, I will see you all later.